Good afternoon to you. I'm Carolyn Long, new here at noon. Students at Fort Osage High School are protesting, upset about a racist threat. KCTV 5 Stephanie Kayser joins us live now from Independence with more on this story. Stephanie. Carolyn, after a threatening social media post was made against African American students, students and parents linked arms outside of Fort Osage High School today, showing unity, something they say they haven't seen in the school district for a long time. Now, one parent tells me that her daughter feels harassed at school every day, and she says enough is enough. Around 100 students and their parents held signs and chanted to end the racial culture in the school district. Now, this all comes after a Snapchat was made, made its way around the high school earlier this week. That Snapchat showed two students saying they were going to come to the school and shoot African American students. We spoke with one student and her mother. She says she doesn't feel safe. It's hard to describe. There's really no way to put it in words. The fact that we still have to be going through this. Yeah. I'm not trying to bury my daughter yeah. because they think that this is just a game and they think this is just serious. Yeah. This is serious. It's not okay. It's not okay for kids to think that um, they can discriminate against somebody. Now, the school district did respond to the protest. They say they are taking this very seriously. The two students behind the Snapchat are not in school today. Disciplinary action is being taken, but we're told because of privacy issues, we don't know yet what those disciplinary actions are going to be, if they're going to be expelled or suspended yet. We do know the Jackson County Sheriff's Office is also involved. So we certainly had uh, two students in this situation who made a very poor decision. Um, that, that, is, that is certainly against school policy that we are working through. Uh, but overall, we feel like we have a good culture in our buildings. Now, the school district says because of this, they will be taking another look to see how the school can be more inclusive. Students and parents say they hope those changes are made. Live in Independence, Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News.